Hi, this is Darla from Crafty Yarn Owl. Today's video is a tutorial on how to do a doll's face. So I hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching. Let's start with the eyes. I haven't seen anybody else make the eyes like this before, but this is how I do it. It seems to work for me. This is a sheet of felt that I got from Michaels. I push two safety eyes through here. And then I cut around them so that I have what would appear to be the white of the eye. So I'll show you how I do this one. And you can trim it as far down as you like, of course. I actually looked at real eyes online to see just exactly how much of that white shows around the actual pupil and, and uh, it's not a lot. And then what I do is, I'll probably trim that a little bit better, but what I do is I put a little bit of glue, hot glue on it. And put both eyes together. And that's how I make the eyes. I'm not good at embroidering eyes yet, but uh, I have tried. <laughs> now I'm going to show you how I do the nose. And then we're going to put her face all together afterwards. That's roughly where I want her eyes. So I want her nose somewhere around here. So, oh gee, I'm out of the camera shot, sorry. I want her nose somewhere around here. So what I've done is I've put yarn on a needle and I've put a big knot at the end of it. So roughly where I want her nose, I'm just going to pull this yarn through there. Do I want it a little higher? I think I'll have it a little higher. And there's the knot. So now what I do is I just go around that knot. cover it cover it with oh her eye fell off <laughs> I'll have to glue those in later I just go around this knot or over top of it I should say to end up making a bump and that's going to be her nose Keep doing that till you make 
can know that you you like. Now I don't make these dolls for children. I make these dolls for myself and for other adults. This one is actually a gift for someone. I'm just going to continue this off camera. Okay, I'm happy with her little nose. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to I'm just going to push the yarn through Make a little, you can make a little knot. It's not gonna really show, I don't think. Just make a little knot, just so it doesn't unravel. Then you can go back in, come out anywhere you want. I usually go back in again, just to make sure it's gonna stay. Give it a little bit of a tug. Cut it off. There's your little nose. I have my glue gun heating up because I'm gonna glue the eyes in. Okay, now we're going to put some yarn on the needle for her mouth. You ever use those, those metal things for threading your needle? I'm always breaking them. So I made my own out of thread and a paper clip. Sorry, I keep going out of the camera here. Okay. Thread and a paper clip. All right, so I have the yarn I want to use for her mouth on the needle. I'm going to make a fairly large knot. To sew it in roughly where I want the mouth. Just a little outside of it. Because I'm going to pull this, hopefully, this knot I can get inside. And it's going to stay, hopefully. Oops, nope. <laughs> Let's try it again. Where was I? Somewhere around here. Actually, what we'll do... Yeah, we're going to try to push that through and not pull so hard. Alright, now I'm going to go back over here. Come out over here. Let's see if that... That's good. Go back roughly in the same spot. Come back out where you already have the thread. And we're going to go down just a little. I'm trying to make some decent looking lips.
You can make the lips any way you want, any shape. Of course, 